Welcome back to the channel and today I got some exciting, exciting new knives. I mean, unbelievable. I could not wait to open these. Let's just say that. First one is a new company to me and that is the Alpha Hunter Mech Force Collaboration Apocalypse. And the reason why this knife was uh, so important to me is because whenever I first started in the knife community on YouTube, at least watching other YouTubers, this design had to come out and it was a custom so it was very very expensive and they didn't make that many and chad the guy behind alpha hunter is a super nice guy i get to talk with him at blade show every year and him and his wife are both super super nice people and i thought this version was super cool looking i know it's not gonna be everybody's thing this is the 80s carbon and i think it's wicked looking now I wasn't sure about Mech Force. I saw their uh, design they had released a while back and I just thought it was very expensive for what it is because some of the parts are made overseas and I think some of it's made in the US and then they're assembled here in the US. And that's, that doesn't always mean much, but I gotta say, I'm, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this knife. So let's check out this action and check out that blade. I'm not even a Tanto fan, but that thing is sexy in my opinion. What's cool about this, it's a three-tone blade, I guess you could call it. You have stone wash on your primary grinds and on your top swedge. Your flats have like a brushed satin finish on them. And then this fuller right here, I don't know if that's a blasted finish or what, but it's like a, a heavy textured finish. It's not super gritty or anything, but you can definitely feel it. And it gives this blade some depth. It's already a wicked looking Harpoon Tanto. And there's the Alpha Hunter logo right there. And on this side, you have the Mech Force logo and the Blade Steel M390. The action is what's kind of remarkable about this knife. Ridiculously smooth, but it's a hydraulic smooth. The flipping action is excellent. Even though it's a somewhat of a stiff detent, it's easy to break. And being that they had that texture on those fullers, I can easily reverse flick it. Of course, you got those thumb studs too. I could probably do it with, but uh, my thumbs kind of still banged up. Yeah, I haven't started any testing or anything with this, but as far as the build quality goes, it's definitely up there with some of the best. The second one, I didn't even realize they were shipping yet, but this right here is the Vorganize VBR. I love this knife, but I always wish it had a thumb stud. It's a flipper only. This is the V1, I think, or maybe V2. Um, it has phenomenal flipping action. It's super comfortable. I think it looks sexy. Kind of looks like uh, Hinder-esque, but much slicier because this is a deep hollow right here going into a flat. And then I have the Arctic Fat Carbon on there. Very, very smooth. Well, I got in on the pre-order for another Varga, the small VBR. And man, I could not be more excited about this knife. This one is, I think, a three and a half inch blade. It's like eight and some change, I think, overall length. This one is perfect. And the action is so dialed in. He managed to get the flipping action great while still allowing me to reverse flick it if I wanted to, uh, slow roll it if I wanted to. And I know I heard some people talk about the, uh, the original version they did with the thumb studs, that it was hard to use the thumb studs because the detents were a little strong. But I have to say, at least mine on the small is perfect. And the detent is dialed where I cannot I cannot make this thing come out and I can usually always do it. This is a bolster lock too. I'm not putting any pressure on that lock bar. I think he has a flat detent on this one. I don't know. I haven't taken this one apart or anything yet. The action out of box. Hydraulic. Yeah, this thing's going to break in nice. I think it's a good looking knife. I went with the regular 12 carbon fiber. Forgot what other versions they had. Still have that deep hollow. This one is, I think, a three inch blade, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that because I don't have my ruler around here, but I think, let's do a size comparison. There you go. And then if you go butt to butt, 
Now this is a premium knife with a premium price tag. I think they're made by Riot, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, comfortable, perfect size for my medium sized hands. I can kind of choke if I wanted to. Perfect jimping right there. Yeah, definitely, definitely excited. I, like I said, there's nothing better. There's nothing better whenever you, you get a pre-order and it's been, I don't know how many months, and you totally forget about it because I paid in full, so I didn't have to pay any deposit or anything. So I had no clue, and I missed the email saying it shipped. And to my surprise, whenever I opened up the box, I was like, what? <laughs> what? M390, I think, on this one. We have another nice premium knife that I pre-ordered as well. And that is the Pyrotech Kraken. I like this for the innovation. And knowing that the guy behind Pyrotech has already done some other cool stuff. And I know he's going to come out with more cool things. And if you don't know what's so cool about this knife is, just look, there's no hardware. And that's because these scales are on with magnets. How genius. So you can buy other scales and just slap them on there because your frame is what, you know, is doing the action. You're not going to mess with your action at all. I do kind of wish this was a clutch lock. Even though the, the uh, spring's dialed pretty good. It does come with an extra Omega spring. I like the blade. However, I do wish this is an S90V steel. I really, really wish this would have been a hollow grind. Because it, it's a little thick behind the edge. But it'll, it'll probably still slice well. And I do wish that they would have given us more of a sharpening choil. You can see it barely clears that plunge. And it is already starting to create a smile back there let's see at least I can fix it myself I just got to be very careful you don't want to mess with the uh, where the crossbar catches the blade in the closed position there's your blade steel marking right there so they kept the blade completely sterile I like their little logo right there dark blasted finish it is a reversible clip this thing's done pretty well too it's if you take the scale off all you do is push it this way and it comes out it's hooked into the scale right there another cool design element and you have a blind screw clip just to make sure you keep it completely screwless on the outside it just looks very clean now these are kind of pricey because you got s naive steel you got all the extra workings with these magnets in here you got their R&D and they're just starting out. This is, I think, yeah, this is the first design from Pyrotech out of their own brand. They did one with Kaiser or they might have done a few with Kaiser. Perfect jimping. I like how they got the little scoop right there. So if you want to control that tip really well, you can. Love that blade shape. It's going to be very versatile because it's, it's very slight belly. So you can still cut on a flat surface. And you can still do in hand cuts very easily with that. Mine's not a complete drop shut knife yet. I'm sure it'll probably break in. It is on bearings. But that's about as far as mine goes. I haven't taken it apart or anything yet. But that's it. Uh, not the biggest deal. Um, I can reverse flick it. I can flick it out with the crossbar. So yeah. Let me know what y'all think about this one. These, like I said, are a premium uh, knife at a premium price tag. I think they were like, I think it was like 300 bucks. So definitely not a cheap one, but definitely well done. These next three, thanks to an awesome subscriber, Tim. Thank you so much for letting me know about this. Let me know about some fixed blades that were on sale at K-Bar. They're on their clearance site, on the site for clearance. And these are fixed blades I've wanted for a long time. The first one is the uh, K-Bar Snowdy Boss. This is a collaboration with Mike Snowdy. Comes with this leather sheath that is made in the U.S. I put an Alti clip on there. I had to kind of bore out those holes a little bit. I, I still need to do the top one. I bought this one to 
If I ever get time, I'm going to make my own scales for it. It comes with these Zytel scales. These are blue. They also come with a set of purple ones. This is perfect EDC size. It's like a little under 7 inches. So I get a nice four finger grip. And it's got like a mirror stone wash finish on it. Very slick finish. You have the Snowdy logo there. These are in S35VN. But right now, you can get this one for 40 bucks. $40. S35VN, USA made. And talk about screaming sharp. Now, I know some people are going to be put off by this. This is a chisel grind. As you can see, it's flat on this side. And the grind's on this side. Which, if you've never used a chisel grind, they are some aggressive, aggressive cutters. So I'm going to have some fun with this one. Hopefully I'll get the time to make my own scales for it. Because these are a little thin. I would like to make them a little thicker. Another one that was on clearance. It's Bigger Brother. This is the K-Bar Snowdy Big Boss. Same sheath. Thicker handle. This one, I love the look of this one. It's I think it's like a 9 inch knife. And it's dual ground on both sides. I love that top swedge. Almost like a spear point, but it's still a drop point. You have that same mirror stone wash finish. S35VN on this one as well. Thicker scales on this one. Fills out the hand a lot nicer. Yeah, this thing's a beaut. This bad boy is only 55 bucks. $55. So definitely thank Tim down in the comments if you plan on going to get one. They were still available at the time of shooting this video. If you want one, you might want to jump on it because I don't know how many they have. And I'm sure... A lot of times, y'all sell things out after I do the videos. So while I was on the site looking at the clearance stuff, I've been looking for a good chopper. And there was one that I'd, I'd looked at a few times and kind of, I don't know, maybe. But what they have these down for, I couldn't pass up. So this is the Zombie Zomstro Chopper. Comes with a Kodura sheath. You got the little button retention right here. One of the reasons why I never got it is because it had these lime green scales on it. But it comes with a set of black ones. And I've already started having some fun with it. Man, does this thing chop very well. I think it's like 15 inches overall. Maybe and like I think a 10 inch blade on it. It's got a quarter inch blade stock. And of course it's weighted to the front. So that's why this thing chops so well. And for my hands, this handle, very comfortable. Or you could choke back and it has this hook spot. Now, if you had big hands, you might not be able to fit in this spot and it might be uncomfortable for you. But for me, I stayed like this when I was doing most of my chopping. And then sometimes if I wanted a little bit more snap to it, I would come back here. I think this is 1095 made in the US. And these are on their site for $40. 40 bucks. If you ever wanted a good chopper to play around with or just to put in a backpack you know for camping and stuff this is this could clear some small trees if you needed to now the coating doesn't hold up that well uh, i mean this is after one day of you know messing around with it chopping and batoning and it it'll take it off rather quickly it's just a powder coat but for 40 bucks <laughs> i can care less yeah, love it. <laughs> if anybody has a suggestion on a really good chopper, I looked at some of the tops like uh, the Hungless and uh, the El Chetty, I think it is. That one looks awesome. If you own a chopper and you love it and it chops really well, let me know down in the comments because I might pick it up. I've been on the fence. I like, I like a good machete too, but I, I got a bunch of those and I just want one more good chopper for whenever I go out in the woods. Well, that does it for today's video. Let me know what you think about these. Which one would you like to see a review on first? And uh, if you own any of these, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute, absolute amazing day. I will see you on the next one. Hey!